Hi, my name is Emma. And um, what I gained from this weekend was an appreciation for the feminine. I think where I was before uh, the weekend started was that I was in pride and dignity about being a woman that was really exhibiting a lot of male characteristics. And I didn't think that was bad, but when he, when Coot started describing the stages of women, I just flipped out to know that I was at three. And um, even today when he started talking about the seven, I mean the five stages of men, five stages of the development of men, I found myself going into like, what, I'm not gonna be praising the king. And then all of a sudden it just hit me like a ton of bricks that the reality was that I didn't have to be against the men. I could be fully feminine while he was being fully masculine and that we would have a beautiful union. And it just made so much sense. I was really grateful for the experience. And how I feel about Kud is that he's kind of like the wisdom keeper. He kind of, in a very young form, reminds me that being feminine is beautiful and that it's my birthright and that in that place there's a lot of power and I guess part of my reality has been feeling very powerless in the position of woman and so I've kind of identified with the aggressor and now see that I don't have to do that. I can be beautiful and powerful and effective being a woman and so I'm very grateful for that. And uh, what I would want to say to anybody who's uh, thinking about taking this or hearing about it is do it. You will love it. It is an experience that I intend to share with my daughter and many of my women friends who are also at threes who don't even know that it's how we carry ourselves in the world that's keeping men away. Not that they don't see us. It's they see us and they kind of and uh, that was a very good metaphor and a very good picture for me to see. So thank you. Thank you. Julie.